the crown, then the controversy. As the U.S. debates how American the new Miss America is, irony in India. There is as much racism in our country mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as there is perhaps in America. Many say she's too dark-skinned to win here. Pictures of Indian beauty queens show the most popular ones usually have lighter skin. Unfortunately, in our country, they think looking better means they have to look fairer. Dermatologist Dr. Jamuna Pai says there is a major demand for whitening treatments. People do come and ask younger girls, girls of marriageable age, girls before going for their jobs. The preference for fairness is deep-rooted in India's culture. Almost any matrimonial advertisement you look at will ask for a bride or groom who's fair. For Indians who are naturally darker skinned, there are plenty of products peddling an alternative. World's number one, imami fair and handsome. In this ad, Bollywood star Shah Rukh Khan says he achieved more success after using this cream. The company maintains it's a grooming aid. With fairness, just one of the qualities it offers. India has a massive demand for skin lightening treatments and products. In fact, India's whitening cream market is worth more than $400 million. A recent entrant to the market, a vaginal wash that promises freshness, protection and skin lightening. Critics say it's taking the fairness obsession too far. But the company says it's simply giving women what they want. We had a very proactive consumer coming and asking us for this product. Um, and I think it would be very, very irresponsible of us to not provide that as a solution. Actor Nandita Das, supporting a campaign called Dark is Beautiful, is trying to change things. Well, the prejudice definitely precedes the products, there's no question. But the point is, do we want to capitalize on this prejudice, on this lack of self-worth and you know, further sort of perpetuate it or propagate it? Or do we want to address it in a way that we can empower more women, we can make them feel good in the way they are? The campaign's gone viral. Its Facebook page flooded with responses from people who say they want to feel comfortable in their own skin, whatever shade it may be. Malika Kapoor, CNN, Mumbai.